that gives us a great chance uh, of going into another state. Ladies and gentlemen, at the northern end of the court, from Italy, ranked number 27 in the world, in 1990, a finalist in the Canadian Open doubles, a winner in the Toronto singles, a quarter-finalist at Sydney, Nashville and Indianapolis, and consistently ranked in the world's top 30 over the past five years, please welcome world number 27, Raffaella Reggi. At the southern end, the greatest woman's player of recent years, winner in 1990 alone of eight titles, and in her career of nine Grand Slam titles, including the Grand Slam in 1988, the defending Australian Open champion and world number one, Steffi Graf. Well, a thoroughly deserved great ovation for Steffi Graf. Of course, she's won the Australian Open the past three years and uh, very keen today to get some good practice in. Uh, it's going to be tough Australian Open for Steffi with Gabriella Sabatini, of course, who defeated her in the US Open and also in the semi-finals of the Virginia Slim. So it's a new year and Steffi, I think, will be looking forward uh, to having a great year. Then, of course, you've got Monica Sellers, who's now number two in the world and played so well over in Perth. So uh, this is Steffi's first appearance in Australia. Very interesting to see how she's going to play today. Unbeaten on this very court. That's true. <laughs> She certainly loves uh, coming back to Australia, and I think she would have uh, been pleased to see the end of 1990. Certainly was a disappointing year for her in, in many ways, not simply on the court, but uh, we don't want to dwell on that. But, I mean, really, uh, Steffi has a point to prove in 91, doesn't she? That's true. Well, it was, I think, a distracting year for Steffi. Everyone uh, knows about that. But the interesting thing is that she did finish the year still ranked number one in the world. So the other girls still have to take away from Steffi, and... Uh, here she is out here today playing for charity, but I'm sure she's going to get a good look at her footwork. Unbelievable footwork, eh? She looks fantastic. She <laughs> yeah. really does. In a new line of gear. So, of course, it's always interesting. The Australian Open, uh, all the new tennis lines get uh, unveiled for all the different players, and it's always interesting to see what they're wearing this time. Of course, she's playing Raffaella Reggi, who has represented Italy on many occasions uh, in Federation Cup of course, recently in the Hopman Cup over in Perth. Rafi uh, is a tremendous fighter and seems to get in, involved in, in some of the great matches in tennis. I remember her match with the rancher Sanchez at Wimbledon a couple of years ago when she was up match point and a rancher happened to pull two up minutes, a great please, drop two shot minutes. on match point. Then I remember two years ago here at the Australian Open, she had chances against uh, Gabriella Sabatini. And of course, the week before last, uh, she had a great match with Monica Salas over in Perth. So. Rafi is just one of the great competitors and fighters on the circuit. Extremely popular girl, and uh, this this will be a very entertaining set. Well, she'd be the sort of player you'd have to say is it, you know, a dark horse. But I mean, the sort of player who could come through and surprise next week over the next couple of weeks. Well, that's right. Well, she's come to Australia early, had a very good preparation, and and the players that do that always seem to do well in the Australian Open. So, uh, and Rafi's the sort of player that unless you're up for her when you're playing her, she's going to beat you every time. She just keeps competing. Uh, Really got tremendous spirit. But I guess most of the attention, uh, deservedly, will be on Steffi Graf and uh, to see how she's hitting the ball. Look at her dancing around. Is she keen this year or what? Oh, she's very keen. Now, we, you went through the names. I mean, who, who do you think is, is the biggest threat? Is it Sellers? Oh, I think so. Yeah. She's been to Australia early. She played four tough matches at the Hopman Cup. Came through them all, and by the end of the tournament was playing great tennis. She stormed through, uh, she won the Virginia Slims finals, interestingly in a five-set match uh, for women, the first one for about 80 years, mm. when she beat Sabatini. She also won Ladies Lipton and, and the French Open, so she had a tremendous year as well, Monica Sellers, and many people thought uh, she had a strong claim to being number one player in the world last year, but Monica's great. She just feels that, you know, she's got to earn her way to number one, and uh, she feels that Steffi, uh, that's what she did to become number one, and she knows she has to do the same thing as well. So a tremendous spirit and rivalry amongst the girls. And, uh, yeah, I heard Mary uh, Jo Fernandez, I read about Mary Jo Fernandez actually saying that she thinks it's wide open this year, not just the Australian Open, but the whole scene for, the, for, for women. Well, last year, every Grand Slam tournament, men and women, was won by a different player. I believe that's the first time in history. Uh, I might be wrong, but certainly it's the first time, time for many, many years. Let's see what 1991 brings. Raffaella, Reggie to serve. So Reggie to serve. Flinders Park in Melbourne, perfect day.
up 15. Well, Rafi venturing to the net in the first point after a number of well struck ground strokes, but uh, just couldn't control that backhand volley. Love 13. I see already how much Steffi's enjoying being back out on the centre court. She loves it. Love 14. In the first game from Steffi. Well, obviously nothing wrong with Steffi's forehand in 1991. Look at the way she sets up, steps around, hits it inside out, very hard and flat. No way that's coming back. That is the most feared shot uh, probably in women's tennis, although uh, Monica Salas has got a few uh, shots that are pretty fearsome as well. But what a greatly produced forehand that is. I, I read that uh, Steffi, to um, get herself set for this confrontation with Salas, has been... Um, looking at uh, doing quite a bit of hitting up with Mark Woodford, the tall left-hander. Well, she's quite an interesting uh, oh, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's done that from time to mm. time, uh, played with Mark, and she, she always felt that that was a good ploy uh, when she was getting ready for Martina. And that's a great advantage of women's tennis, is they get the men out there and that, that just steps them up a level and uh, they get some great practice in. Probably wouldn't do Mark any harm either. No, 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 the, the way they're playing now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Five, please. Steffi Graf to serve. 15 love. Great placement there by Steffi. There's two shots right into the backhand corner. Thirty Oh, that's awesome power from Steffi. Raffi uh, nodding her head in acknowledgement. <laughs> Just a charity game, Raffi, don't worry. <laughs> Look at this power. Mm, gee, really come out, guns are blazing. 40 up. I've never seen Steffi so eager so early uh, the day before the tournament. Look at the way she's bouncing around and crunching the ball. She certainly means business. Game drive. Too well, Paul, you're giving her a great opportunity here at the Oz Tennis Charity Day. It's now become the traditional uh, link into the Australian Open. And uh... look at Raffi. <laughs> really, she's a too good, too good. Raffi hasn't won a point yet. Yeah. <laughs> she will, though. She's a gritty player. It's her turn now. an exhibition of power tennis by Steffi. I think Raffi's in a little bit of shock. The way, look at the way Steffi storms the net. Beautiful approach. But look how crisp his volley is into the open court. No mistake. Well done, Raffi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
1530. Hmm. Once again, the graph of salt, she's really coming to the net much more than we uh, we're used to her. 30 -0. Just in Steffi's side, but uh, <laughs> I Raffi had a swing at Raffi it. Raffi was lucky she didn't hit the net then. Great lob she hit, though. Very clever ploy. She knew Steffi was coming in. Greatly timed lob. Deuce. That slice backhand from Steffi has so much bite on it that really kick through low. Advantage graph. Three love and uh, Raffi had a chance, but uh, quickly shut out. Well, here we are on national television. I mean, it's a good opportunity to get out there and uh, show the people or the the would be if could be so that um, you're right on your game and uh, out there to make things happen in '91. Look at the way Steffi's hitting the ball. The way she sets up for the next forehand and she just munches it. One forehand, and I think she'd get another forehand back. Look at the footwork, always dancing. Just whips his cross of court, 100 miles an hour, end of point. Thank you, walks to the chair. I haven't seen Steph hitting the ball as well and as cleanly as this for a long, long time. Tremendous to see her in such form going into the first Grand Slam of the year. Of course, she's won it three years in a row, so she, you'd have to say she, uh, she has great claims uh, to winning it the fourth year in a row but uh, women's tennis is getting so much stronger now that the challenges are coming and uh, Monica Salas of course is one of them 15 yeah 91 going to prove whether that was an aberration Steffi had a bit of a, a down year she comes back strong in 91 who knows well that's right oh. no one knows it's certainly uh, very uncertain but all of the top women are playing great. Sabatini's a big, uh, big danger this tournament as well. Thirty love. It's great to see such a strong field for the Australian Open, and uh, many questions are going to be answered over the next two weeks. Yes, the only one from the young brigade missing is uh, Capriati. That's right, yes. Well, of course, being so young, 13 turning 14 mm. uh, last year, um, she had a limitation on the number of tournaments that she could play. Of course, when Steffi won the French Open three years ago, she was the youngest female ever to win it. Arantxa Sanchez beat her in the final the next year. There's Steffi's great forehand. Watch this inside-out forehand. Then Arantxa Sanchez became the youngest ever to win it. And then, and then Monica beat Steffi this year, in 1990, and again became the youngest female ever to win the French Open. So, does that mean Jennifer Capriati's got to be the youngest again? Well, she has to I mean, be. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, that they're getting younger and younger and so good. 
and Steffi, of course, still only 21 years of age. I was just thinking, I mean, at 21, Steffi's, you know, in the veteran class. Already with a grand slam under her belt. Three Australian Opens, two French. 30 luck. Two Wimbledon titles and two US Open titles. Can you imagine that at 21 years of age? Unbelievable. Oh, perhaps it's a good thing she got in early with all these other young ones coming up behind. Well, that's right. Yeah. Wouldn't Rafi love to uh, win this game and get on the scoreboard and then hopefully into this set? Forty-fifteen. Well, here's a chance. Two game points. That's it. That'll boost the confidence. Four games to one. Well, I knew Rafi would uh, be fighting all the way. Here we see Rafi. Beautiful inside-out approach. And a good high backhand volley. Much better than the one we saw in the first point of the match. And Rafi will be determined to build on that and uh, have a go at Steffi's next serve. Well, Paul, you've almost done it again. Filled the centre court. And, uh, I don't know, Oz Tennis is uh, just growing in leaps and bounds. What's this, the third year now? Third year uh, on it, national it, television? Yeah, here, right, the here on the centre court. Third year here. Yes. Yeah, here on centre court. National, we've, we've done the rounds a little bit. We started Government House, moved to Parliament House, to <laughs> Kuyong, to Court One, to here. But here we are, and uh, it's just so great to, to have the privilege uh, from Tennis Australia to use this court, to have the support of Shell, Shell Ultra today, and then have a crowd like today. Love 15. And, of course, uh, a big thank you, I must say, to ABC TV, who can take the Oz Tennis Charity Day to so many outposts around Australia. It, it's, it's great to be here. 15 all. Well, it's great to have you. Great man for the game. By the way, congratulations on the uh, Hopman Cup again this year. Great success. Oh, thanks, John. No, it was a terrific tournament and a uh, well-deserved victory by Yugoslavia. Fifteen thirty. Well, Rafi just inching her way back into the set. I just wonder if Steffi uh, relaxed a little bit and maybe going for a little bit too much now. She started so well, I just wondered if she could have kept it up. Very strong first serve there, wide to the backhand. She just whizzed through those first four games. Gee, she was hot. the door didn't it 5-1 yeah well she's really hitting the ball confidently and uh she i love the gear it's beautiful isn't it oh. steffi just Good missing that high backhand volley not getting quite enough angle on it but the way they're playing uh, on center court now i wonder how the comedy company guys are feeling uh, for the next set <laughs> Got a lot to live up to. <laughs> well, I hope your partner Peter Rosethorn is psyching up suitably. Yeah, I've said so too. <laughs> Actually, it's a lot for Peter Mack and I to live up to looking at this tennis out here. <laughs> Forty-nine. Peter and Russell Gilbert will be having a bit of a hit out the back, wouldn't they? Oh yeah, they're all warmed up, <laughs> ready to go. It's hard to play serious tennis with those guys, though. <laughs> Game 
game, Reggie? Just over hits that Steffi, so Ruffy's at 2-5. Crowd leads five games to two. We saw it with uh, Mats Belander and Pat Cash earlier, and uh, I suppose even Darren Cale uh, enjoyed his time out there, although, uh, I mean, well, let's say Craig Kelly let Darren down, or was it the opposite? <laughs> but um, obviously, any chance to uh, get a hit on the, sec on the centre court the day before the Australian Open, you've got to grab with open arms. You can see Steffi has. Yes, well, it's terrific uh, to see Steffi here playing today. Of course, she didn't play a lead-up tournament this year to uh, the Australian Open, so she's taken the opportunity today, and... Uh, you know, I guess I'm repeating myself, but it, it just means that so many more kids can now take up tennis when uh, I'm able to get the support of uh, of the likes of the number one player in the world, Steffi Graf. Steffi is serving for the set at 5-2. Oh, great serve, Steffi. Excellent serve, that wide one of the backhand over the high part of the net. Very hard to defend against, especially against a two-hander. Rafi hasn't quite got the reach out there. Excellent serve. Must have taken her eye off the ball. <laughs> Fifteen nine. Great defending there by Rafi Reggie. She threw in two high shots to get back in the point. Very clever tennis because if she had just hit it back at normal speed, Steffi would have whacked it in the open court. By throwing it high, it gave her time to get back in the point. Great fighting by Rafi, but just not able to stand up to the pressure in the end. Set point. Oh, too good. Okay. Steffi Graf wins at 6-2. Great little workout for Reggie and Graf on the centre court in the Oz Tennis Charity Day. Good fun, Six wasn't it, Yes, it certainly was, John. Uh, Steffi in fine form. I think she's sent out a warning to the other girls at the Australian Open. She's here to play great tennis. She means business. Steffi Graf is ready to go. Uh, a big job. She's won the Australian Open three times in a row, but who's to say she can't win it a record fourth time in a row? Well, actually, I'm not sure that someone hasn't won it four times in a row before, but in modern times... Be going back to Margaret Court. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Tremendous performance from Steffi Graf, and thank you, Paul McNamee. You've got some work to do downstairs on the centre well, court. I might uh, check out centre court myself with the boys, <laughs> and I look forward to getting down there. Thanks a lot, look John. Look forward to it. Thanks, viewers. Uh, great to have your support today. So, Paul McNamee leaves us here in the... Uh, Commentary position as uh, Steffi Graf and Raphael Reggie make their way off the court. And uh, with a little bit of luck, we might even have a word with Steffi Graf down courtside.
Steffi Graf, thank you very much for joining us here at the Oz Tennis Charity Day. And judging just on your form in that little match, you're rearing to go for 1991. Yeah, that's true. I prepared pretty well again for, for this uh, Open. And I love the surface and I love to play here, so I'm feeling okay. Right, just one second. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear us? Is the PA on? That's better. Steffi, um, in general, your goals for 1991? I never set myself any goals, so I, it's going to be just the same like the years before. I, I always try to uh, play as well as I can and enjoy it as much, so no goals at all. Now, you've won the Ford Australian Open three years in a row. Women's tennis is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Your chances of making it four in a row? I certainly try my best to do so. I mean, uh, so far I haven't lost here at this uh, Flinders Park, and uh, I'm prepared well for it, and I know that... Definitely the challenge is going to be stronger than before, but I'm ready for it. Okay, well, good luck and thank you very much, Steffi Graff.